guys welcome back you see it yeah the uh austin aka the white ranger smg i think it's the best gun in the game man uh, i really do think it's the best gun in the game um we're gonna see what we can do with it but uh like i said welcome back hopefully you guys are still playing car world war ii i know i am um, I try to play a little bit of Black Ops Cold War, but can't really get into it as much as I get into this game. But um, hopefully, I can try to upload some some of that gameplay as well. But like I said, um, best gun in COD World War Two, I have to give it to the Austin. Man. The Austin is is so versatile, man. It's accurate. Um, it's reliable. Uh, there's not a lot of recoil. Um, it's, it's it's a over overall it's a it's a it's a great gun um if you are used to using you know like uh ars or you know uh sniper rifles it, i've gone head to head with ars and sniper rifle and i have won with this gun um that's how deadly and accurate that it is um the only downside is the magazine capacity, uh, but as you can see, you know, getting some kills. Ah, I got shot right there, but you know, just getting some kills, um, stacking up some kills. Um, you know, like I said, the range uh, has good range on this this gun. I didn't get the uh, stats for it, but I believe it's a a seven on this one for the rating scale for, uh, for for the weapons for this uh, game. But um, I believe the accuracy is a seven. The range is like a seven. Um, the fire rate is a s five or six, I believe. Yeah. But um, where where did that guy come from? But um, yeah, just you know, it, it's overall a, a great gun. It reminds me of the uh, Peacekeeper from Black Ops Two. Um, for its versatility, oh, I got shot in the back. Wow, flanker, always a flanker guy. But um, yeah, it reminds me of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2. Um, just just a overall, just a great gun, just very versatile. I mean, it, from medium to long ranges, uh, it's it's dead on. Like uh, I don't use any optics or anything like that with this gun. Um, don't really need them. I couldn't get the turn. Um, but I don't use any of that stuff on this gun. You don't really need it. Um, I feel like that, you know, wastes a, a attachment slot. So um, I don't really use any optics on this. Um, I've seen some people put optics on it. Um, but you guys, let me know. You know, what, what's your favorite gun? Ah, got him. What's your favorite gun in Car World War II? Um, what are you using the most? Uh, what do you like? Let me know in the comment section. You know, to each his own, man. It's all about preference, your play style, how you play. Um, but, you know, I like this gun overall, you know, more than others. Um, some people have said that they like the Irma EMP a little bit more than the um, EMP-44. I believe is another one, but the uh, Irma is a is a nice SMG as well. I've heard some people say that's a little bit better, but I, I can't really agree with that because of how accurate the Austin is. Um, it's just dead on, boom, you see it right there, boom, right into the next one. That's a four piece right there, man. So you can't really beat it. Um, if you know how to use it, you know how to work your angles on your turns and stuff like that, your analogs and your, your, your settings on your controller, it, it all plays a part. And um, as you can see in this gameplay, um, I stacked up a couple of kills, uh, had a really good gameplay with it. Uh, the actual camo on this, I believe, is the... Mm, I can't remember, I have to look it up, but... Uh, um, I think it's something of war uh something war something i can't remember but uh i'll get it uh researched and brought up when i can um but uh spoils of war exactly that's exactly what it's called spoils of war and i believe it's a reactive uh 
camo I can't remember um, hopefully somebody can uh, put it down in the comment section uh, what the uh, reactive camo is but it's I believe it's like a cloud type of uh, reactive camo but yeah man um, this gun is 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 accurate it's reliable um, you can get a lot of kills with this gun man and um, as you can see I got a suppressor on mine uh, I usually run suppressor uh, on on my SMGs uh, just to have that that versatility because they're toggled so you can well they're not toggled good they're toggled but you know you can t turn it off and you or you can put it on you can take it off uh, when you need to if you need that extra you know stopping power you can take it off or whatever like I might have needed right there <laughs> but um, yeah you just uh, it gives you that versatility to, you know, be a little bit more stealthy, a little bit more quiet in certain areas, especially when you're, you know, pushing spawns or, you know, you're in enemy territory and you're trying to stay a little bit off the radar. Uh, that kind of helps with that. But um, like I said, man, the White Ranger uh, SMG, man, is what I call it. Uh, so it's a great SMG. Let me know what you guys are using. I would really love to know. There's so many options in this game, like, uh, this game is underrated, man. For its weapons, they gave you a lot of weapons, a lot of options in this game. And um, I don't think it's really recognized, but they, they, they gave you a lot of options, a lot of content, a lot of guns to use in this game. And um, this one in particular is what I like to use the most. Um, it's great. It really is. Uh, it's got me through a lot of tough games, uh, a lot of tough, you know, opponents, everything, man. This, this, it really gets the job done. It's, it's one of the best, I believe, in the game. One of the best in COD, in my opinion. Uh, it's, it really reminds me of the Peacekeeper, man. It's, it's, it's just versatile. It gets, it gets, it gets you the kills. It gets you what you need done, and um, I think. If you guys give it a try, you'll like it too. Uh, like I said, you uh, for its attachments, I think I have a suppressor, uh, foregrip, and extended mags on this on this class. I believe with armor and I think forge. But uh, let me know what you guys are using. Best gun in the game is the Austin, hands down no question no doubt about it in my mind but uh hopefully you guys are still playing and i'll catch you on the next one